What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a two for Tuesday. No, you're you're not giving you're not getting two of anything today. Well, maybe you will. I don't know. Not for me, anyways. <laughs> uh, February twenty first, twenty twenty three. I'm your host, Joe from the Buckeye Cast. First quick announcement: another giveaway is coming up this Sunday. We are almost at six hundred subscribers. Like I promised, we're doing an Amazon gift card giveaway every 100 subscribers. Just Sunday night, we handed out an Amazon gift card when we hit 500. Boom, delivered next day. This Sunday night on our YouTube live show, 8 p.m. Eastern, another card will go out. So hop in there. The link to the video and the instructions are in the notes in the description of this show, this video. So, and podcasts also. So hop over there, like, subscribe, comment on the announcement video, which I will link, like I said, in the description here, like, subscribe, comment, and you're entered in the drawing. All right. And we will do the, the drawing live. You'll be able to watch Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. All right. Today's topic. Let's get into it. So it's the it's the preseason. Uh, it's not off season. There's never an off season. This is the preseason. Uh, players are in their winter workouts, getting ready for for spring and spring practice. I think we're about two weeks away from spring practice, March seventh, I believe, um, ish. So I had an idea. I heard this on another show and I did a little digging, did a little research on it. And I love this idea. Okay. So this is a game. Think about the spring game, but instead of playing against yourselves or creating these silly kind of made up teams from within your team, splitting them in half. What if you had the option to have an intra squad scrimmage with another real team all right kind of like the nfl does in their preseason where they have scrimmages against you know for like uh, a half or you know you could do so many different things with it but what do you think about that am i nuts um you can do so many things with it this started back um the idea has been around a long time uh 2012 was the most recent time it actually got some traction. Uh, the American Football Coaches Association, you know, the AFCA, <laughs> they talked about they talked about it, but then just squashed it because uh, guys like Dabo Swinney, not my guy, not my cup of tea, David Cliff, those those guys were all for it. But then you got heavy hitters like Nick Saban and Bob Stoops against it. So guess why I got squashed back in 2012. So, but this is my thought. It's optional. Again, optional. You don't have to do it. So if you're a Bob Stutz or, or a Nick Saban, don't fucking do it. You know, don't do the scrimmage. Just have your regular spring game and, you know, be bored. Um, I just think it's a cool idea because this is where you could bring in those FCS FCS teams and get them a little paycheck and actually play against the big boys come into this shoe. You know, they're never going to be in the shoe. Otherwise get those guys, get those teams off your fucking regular season schedule, bring them in. You could do uh, so many different options with the, with the game. It doesn't have to be a full 60 minute, you know, uh, you know, the full nine yards. You can just do uh uh I don't know, a running clock. You could do a limited clock, just play a half. Um, you know, in the South, uh, in high school football, they have the jamborees where you bring in like three teams and they each play a round robin, like a half against each other, you know, um, it, do just a 30 minute clock. You know, you could do so many things and it would be, I mean, the TV networks would shit themselves. They have no content in the spring, uh, Coming up in in April, April fifteenth is when the uh, Ohio State spring game is, for example. Um, but after the NCAA tournament, there's nothing to watch. You want to watch college baseball, softball, or lacrosse or something? No thanks. You put that. I would watch 
probably a handful of different teams spring games. If you put them against an FCS team for uh, just a running clock for 60 minutes, just a regular, a full hour, just an hour running clock nonstop, I would watch Bama. I would watch Georgia. I would watch most of the big, well, the good big 10 teams, but uh, I would watch a ton of teams just to see what they have. Who's, who's, you know, doing what just to see guys move around and against a real opponent. That's the thing. You're not going, you know, half speed against your own guys and just like touching them on the waist or something, you know, that, that's tackling. It's like worse than freaking flag football in those spring games. You know, I, if you wanted to go that route against an op- opponent with a, a more of a ha- two hand touch system, I guess you could to avoid injury, but. I think it would be because it'd be a real opponent and a real practice. I think you'd see the heat turned up. You'd see a real, you know, a little bit more intensity out there than what we typically see in a ho-hum spring game. You know, Uh, it'd be an awesome recruiting tool. Recruits would, would love to see, you know, a real game. Um, Think about the ticket prices. Ohio State's charging what five, ten bucks for a spring game. You could you could triple that easily. You know, Gene loves dollars and cents. Talking to you, Gene. I'm speaking your language, man. Crank the ticket prices up to 25, 30 bucks. You got the concessions open. You would fill that stadium, I guarantee you. I, especially in spring, man. I think the fans would love it. And that's what it's all about, right? I mean, I I'm a meat and potato, meat and potatoes guy. You know, I want my football. I want my steak. I want my potatoes. Fans would freaking love this, you know, some real football in the spring, even if it's just for a condensed hour. I think it's an awesome idea. So that means they probably won't fucking follow up and do it. (laughs) So hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to sign up for the next Amazon gift card giveaway. Uh, Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious your thoughts. Good idea, bad idea. You like the spring game as it is? Kind of a sleepy afternoon in the shoe? Or you want like a little bit of a game day atmosphere? You know, I'm curious. There's no wrong answer, just an opinion. So let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you later. Go Bucks.